guys, thanks for tuning in to Comic Book Nostalgia. I'm CP Nostalgia, and I thought we could talk some Wonder Man. Well, I have to say, I really didn't expect this news today. But we have a curious, new, and exciting addition to the Marvel Universe coming to Disney+. Plus. Now, this news is coming from The Hollywood Reporter. And what they are saying is Marvel is currently developing a Wonder Man series for the streaming service. Now, more interestingly though, it's going to see Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings filmmaker Destin Daniel Creighton team up with Andrew Guest, who actually produces and writes comedies such as Brooklyn 99 and Community. And this will indeed be a live action interpretation of the Marvel character. Now, Creighton will executive produce, but there is a distinct possibility he will direct an episode or two. Remember, he signed a new deal with Marvel Studios after Shang-Chi did so well, and there's already a spin-off in development for that, so I'm curious how that work is paralleling this news about Wonder Man. Now, this is the first time Wonder Man has almost come to life from Marvel Studios. Nathan Fillion was set to appear as the character in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Actually, Nathan released a picture from the film set depicting him as the character playing another character called Archon. Eventually, the films were cut from the final film. But James Gunn at the time did acknowledge that Marvel Studios may very well have some plans for him in the future. Now, if you're unfamiliar with Wonder Man, his real name in the comics is Simon Williams. And his path through his time at Marvel is, well, really convoluted. He actually started out as a villain and a rival to Stark Industries. This led him to a little bit of jail time before he teamed up with the Masters of Evil and Williams agreed to become a test subject for Zemo's ionic ray treatment that would endow him with all the superhero abilities that he's most famous for in the comics. Now, this ionic treatment gave the character a laundry list of powers. Actually, his whole body is infused with ionic energy, giving him super strength, speed, stamina, and vulnerability. He also can fly, is effectively immortal, can shapeshift, alter his size, and even recycle power along with teleport. So what they're going to do with him in this show is kind of up in the air because I think he probably has too big of a laundry list of powers to work on TV, but we'll have to wait and see. Now, the character of Wonder Man himself is pretty popular in Marvel Comics. Like I said, he started as a villain, but he's been around for a really long time and has had quite a few runs with the Avengers as well as S.H.I.E.L.D. and Force Works. This is obviously after the time with people like the Masters of Evil, but he's been a hero in the books for such a long time that I don't even think they're going to dive into that very much. Now, obviously, if we get any more news about Wonder Man on Disney+, Plus, we are going to bring it to you right away. This is probably a pretty cool new addition to the Marvel Universe, and I really do look forward to seeing where Wonder Man fits in with some classic Marvel characters, especially the Avengers. He has been a team member for decades. But before we know more, I gotta know what you guys think. How do you feel about Simon Williams finally coming to life in the MCU? And do you want to see Marvel recast the character from Nathan Fillion? Or would you like to see Nate come back and fill the role? Tell me what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, make sure you hit like, click subscribe, and if you don't ring that bell, you're not getting any updates. Peace.